Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of three, two, one, freeze. When I say wiggle, I want you to wiggle around. But when I say freeze, I want you to freeze in place. Are you ready? Wiggle. Freeze. 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 Whew, great job. During today's Bible story, we'll get to wiggle and freeze while we learn about Jesus. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that I can tell others about Jesus. That's our big idea for the day. Let's say it together. I can tell others about Jesus. In fact, that's what our Bible verse tells us. Let me show you. Jesus said to them, go into all the world Preach the good news to everyone. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Let's do that together. Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Wow, nice job. I think you kids are ready for the Bible story. I love telling people good news. Do you love telling people good news too? I have an idea. Let's practice telling people good news. Hmm, what should we tell them? Do any of you have any good news that you want to share? On the count of three, let's shout. I have good news. Ready? One, two, three. I have good news. Whenever you have good news, you want to share it with everyone. It makes you want to shout. I have good news. Today's true Bible story is about a man who shouted, I have good news. But his news wasn't just good, it was the best news ever. If you want to hear what the good news was, wiggle your fingers in the air. Great! In the Bible, in the book of Acts, there was a man named Cornelius and his family loved God, but they didn't know about Jesus. One day, an angel of God came to him and said, Cornelius! Cornelius was afraid because he'd never seen an angel before. Let's shake with fear together. Three, two, one, freeze! 
Cornelius asked the angel, what do you want? The angel answered, God has remembered you, Cornelius. Now send your men to the town of Joppa. Have them find a man named Peter and bring them back to you. So that's what Cornelius did. He sent three men to Joppa. Let's pretend to walk with the men while they look for Peter. Let's look this way. Let's look that way. Let's look this way. Let's look up high. And let's look down low. Three, two, one, freeze. When the three men found Peter's house, they stopped at the gate and called out, is Peter home? On the count of three, let's call that out together. One, two, three, is Peter home? Right at that moment, God's Holy Spirit talked to Peter. The Holy Spirit told Peter, three men are looking for you. Answer the door and go with them. I have sent them. So Peter went to the door and answered it. Let's pretend to slowly open that door. Three, two, one, freeze. The next day, Peter went with the three men back to Cornelius' house. Let's pretend to walk to Cornelius' house. Now let's run to Cornelius' house. Now let's hop to Cornelius' house. Three, two, one, freeze. When Peter got to Cornelius' house, there was a big group of people. Cornelius was there with all of his friends and family. There was only one problem. Peter was part of a group called the Jews. Can you say Jews? Jews. Cornelius and his friends and family were part of a group called the Gentiles. Can you say Gentiles? Gentiles. The Jews weren't supposed to talk to the Gentiles, but that didn't stop Peter. Peter told the people, God has shown me that he loves everyone the same. The good news of Jesus is for all people, no matter what group they're from. Then Peter told the people all about the good news of Jesus. He told them how Jesus died and then came back to life. He told them how Jesus loves them and wants them to follow him. When Cornelius and his friends and family heard the good news about Jesus, they believed it and began praising God. Let's wave our arms in the air and shout hooray to God. Hooray to God. Hooray to God. Three, two, one, freeze. Hey, speaking of praising God, Let's praise God by singing a song to him.
In our true Bible story for today, Peter told Cornelius all about the good news, even though Cornelius was from a different group of people. Who was the good news about? That's right, the good news was about Jesus. Peter shared the good news about Jesus, and so can we. Do you think Jesus wants us to share the good news about him with just a few people? Or does he want us to share it with everyone? That's right, he wants us to share it with everyone, even if those people are different from us. Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people with different color skin than yours? Yes, you can. On the count of three, let's shout, Jesus loves you. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people who speak a different language than you? Yes, you can. On the count of three, let's shout, Jesus loves you. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people who live in a different country than ours? Yes, you can. On the count of three, let's shout, Jesus loves you. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! It doesn't matter what people look like, or what they sound like, or where they live. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. And Jesus wants us to share the good news so we can tell others about Jesus. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them. Maybe we should practice first. Hmm, who could we practice telling? I know, we could tell our friend, Topher the Gopher. Let's see if we can find him. Uh-oh, it looks like Topher fell asleep. I think we should wake him up. On the count of three, everyone shout, wake up Topher. Are you ready? One, two, Wake up, Topher! Hey, what's the big idea? I can tell others about Jesus. Hey, that is the big idea. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye, Topher. Let's say a prayer to Jesus and ask him to help us tell others about him. Hands up, hands together, hands down. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you have given us good news to share with everyone. I pray that you would give us the courage to tell our friends about you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you next week!